Owls are amazing and beautiful creatures who stalk their prey in the cover of night with large eyes, sharp beaks, and even sharper talons. Since they're nocturnal, we don't often get to appreciate how stunning some owl species look. So join us today as we take a look at the top 15 most beautiful owl species. Number 15. Barn Owl Starting off our list is one owl species that you may already know. We're talking, of course, about the common barn owl. The Taito Alba, or barn owl, is one of the most widespread and commonly found owls out there. And believe it or not, the barn owl is found on every continent except for Antarctica. But it's this owl's characteristic heart-shaped face that really steals even the coldest of hearts. The barn owl is strictly a nocturnal hunter, and despite the cuteness factor, it is silent and deadly when it comes time to eat. When they do decide to make their presence known and communicate with one another instead of hooting, they unleash a creepy, raspy call out into the darkness. While these little guys are nesting, they're going to be feeding on small rodents like voles, rats, and mice to keep not only their bellies full, but those of their young, too. So if you find one hiding in either your barn or near the garden, let them stay put because they offer a cheap alternative to calling an exterminator. The barn owl has amazing hearing to help locate their prey in the brush, and their downy feathers help conceal their winged approach, allowing for a stealth approach to snagging their meal. Number 14. Long-Eared Owl Found in places like North America, Europe, and Asia, Asia Otis, better known as the long-eared owl, likes to make its home in the abandoned nests of other birds like hawks, magpies, ravens, really anything that's close to it in size. These medium-sized, adorable owls can often have a wide-eyed look, making them look surprised to see you. The long-eared owl prefers to hunt just before dusk, especially when they've got other mouths to feed and their hunting grounds are fields and open woods, anywhere where they can get a good look at their prey while flying overhead. But what's on tonight's menu for the long-eared owl? Well, the local rodent population, deer mice, gophers, and rats. The long-eared owl has also been known to go for prey like smaller birds and bats and snakes and even lizards. If it moves, it'll eat it. These beautiful owls are relying on both sound and sight while out on the hunt before they swoop down and catch them in their talons. During their mating season, the male long-eared owls display a courtship dance and calls, and when they finally do attract a female, they'll settle down together and remain monogamous for the rest of their lives. Number 13. Spectacles Owl The spectacle owl lives in the beautiful, dense, humid, old-growth forests of Mexico, Central America, and South America. And although the spectacled isn't an incredibly fast flyer, they don't like to migrate, so when they find somewhere they like, they stick to it. This gorgeous species is aptly named for its appearance, with small white markings around its big yellow eyes that look more like a pair of funny glasses, hence the name. They like to roost at the low to middle-level trees, anywhere where there's a well-hidden spot in the shade that flushes easily. When it comes to nighttime hunting, the spectacled owl looks for an open forest canopy at the forest's edge. And the spectacle owl also has a very special song with a resonant and deep pulsating hoot that sounds like sheet metal being rung out over and over. Number 12. Oriental Bay Owl This owl species may come off as creepy to some, but the Oriental Bay Owl is one serious cutie. This nocturnal species can be found in Southeast Asia, specifically in Thailand, in the dense evergreen forests near bodies of water. But it's the Oriental Bay Owl's face that really makes it stand out. It's got a heart-shaped face accompanied by some ear-like extensions, but it's those massive black eyes that will get you. The Oriental Bay Owl looks like it has giant black marble shoved right into its eye sockets. All the better to see you with, my dear. This species of owl likes to hide out in holes and tree stumps while roosting and nesting, but those big eyes really come in handy when it's time for the nightly hunt. When the sun goes down, the oriental bay owl is alert and ready to go while it perches itself on tree branches, using the foliage as cover before it's time to strike. Number 11. Eastern Screech Owl Otis Azio, or the Eastern Screech Owl, is a small yet beautiful owl that doesn't grow more than 9 inches in height. But just look at that face, and what big eyes you have! Because the eastern screech owl is so small, it has to make up for its size with its excellent camouflage skills because it runs the risk of falling prey to something much, much bigger. Each of these owls is going to have its own unique coloration, but they all manage to find the perfect matching tree cavity to roost in. 
This beautiful owl subsists on a diet of smaller birds and rodents, but will also go for frogs, lizards, tadpoles, and insects, and like so many other entries on our list, is most active at night. The eastern screech owl is found throughout the eastern parts of North America, including Canada and Mexico, and despite their name, these owls don't actually screech. Instead, they make more of a descending tremolo call that's much easier on the ears than the calls of many other owls out in the world. Number 10. Snowy Owl The next entry on our list was made famous by a certain series about a certain young wizard. We're talking, of course, about the famous Snowy Owl. The snowy owl is one of the largest owl species and is the heaviest owl found in North America because of its feathers. And while this bird has also been seen in Europe and Asia, it thrives primarily in the North American Arctic tundra, where it can blend in almost perfectly to the snowy white surroundings. Their nests are quite simple too, making them in small depressions in the snow that they make themselves. The snowy owl prefers to hunt for lemmings when they can, and if they are in short supply, then they'll wait to breed until next season. These owls know how to plan ahead, and interestingly enough, when the snowy owl is born, their feathers are a light brown color. It isn't until they fully mature that these feathers have changed to the white for which they're known. These owls go back to cave paintings depicting them being found in Europe, proving that these beautiful birds have a long and rich history. Number 9. Eurasian Eagle Owl Try not to laugh when you hear the scientific name for the Eurasian Eagle Owl. Bubo Bubo. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is gorgeous, not just because of its adorable face with mane-like feathers, but when they take flight, they have a wingspan of five to six feet long. Talk about impressive. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is an incredibly powerful predator on the wing. These owls will eat just about anything and everything that moves. Sure, it enjoys the typical owl fare like rodents and reptiles, but it will also go for larger game like foxes, large birds, or even other owls. The Eurasian eagle owl likes to eat, and the bigger, the better. As the name implies, the Eurasian eagle owl is mostly found throughout Europe and Asia and can thrive in a variety of habitats. They live in forests, mountains, and even desert locales. But what makes these owls all the more special is that once they do find a mate, they're pairs for life, making their homes in rock crevices and cave entrances. And when food in the area becomes scarce, the Eurasian eagle owl will perhaps forego breeding for the season. But when there is food aplenty, business is booming. Number 8. Tawny Owl Strix aluco, also known as the tawny owl, is a true owl that sticks to living in the Palearctic region just south of the Iberian Peninsula and is the most common owl in England. The tawny owl likes to hang its hat anywhere there's thick foliage. So forests are a popular place to spot one of these owls, but it's not uncommon to find them in places like gardens and cemeteries. As long as there's a good place to hide and great food in the area, they'll take it. The tawny owl is primarily nocturnal, and they take to the wing to hunt between dusk and dawn, looking for their favorite foods. That includes rodents and insects, but they'll also go for other birds or even amphibians. The tawny owl is non-migratory and incredibly territorial, so if you're ever going for a walk in the lush English countryside and hear the loud screeching call of the tawny owl, then you'll know you're getting too close to their nests, which they will happily defend at all costs. Number 7. Great Grey Owl Standing at 24 to 33 inches in height and one of the tallest owls in the world is the Strix nebulosa, or Great Grey Owl. The Great Greys are proud inhabitants of Europe, Asia, and the northwestern parts of the United States and Canada, and even turn up in Alaska. Needless to say, the Great Grey Owl is a world traveler, but despite being so widespread, they usually live a life free of human contact. While this owl species may look huge, it's really their large feather plumes that play a trick on the eyes and give them their massive appearance, because in reality, their actual bodies are much smaller. The great gray owl is hard to miss, not only because of their sheer size, but because of their easily identifiable facial disc with gray stripes around their big yellow eyes. The great gray owl will hunt either by day or by night, and in the summer months they'll feed around dawn or dusk, meaning that no prey is safe, be it day or night. This owl listens closely from its perch near open areas, and in the winter months it can easily nab a rodent that's burrowed itself more than a foot below the snow. Number 6. Great Horned Owl Found all throughout North and South America is none other than the majestic Great Horned Owl. 
this species of owl is as versatile as it is beautiful, living in just about any habitat there is. The great horned owl had adapted to live in swamps, deserts, forests, and even tundras. The only time this owl may shy away from more intense climates is during breeding seasons, since they require trees and brush for cover. Don't let its looks fool you, because the great horned owl is also incredibly aggressive and territorial, and it can look like a frightening beast when in a defensive position. When it comes to mealtime, the great horned owl will go just for about anything. That includes bigger game like rabbits, skunks, and even hawks. There have also been cases of this species going after porcupines, which always ends fatally for both parties. A mated pair will vehemently defend their nesting areas from other predators or anyone who got just a little too close for comfort, scaring them off with their incredibly distinct hooting. It may sound funny or cute, but that hoot is definitely a warning that other animals will heed. Number 5. Northern Pygmy Owl Unlike the other entries on our list, this owl comes out during the day. Glaucidium noma, or the northern pygmy owl, rises with the sun, tracking down animals that are oftentimes larger than themselves. The northern pygmy owl is native to western Canada, the United States, Mexico, and Central America, and despite being incredibly territorial and aggressive hunters, only grow to be about six inches tall. These feathered friends have a very distinct look, with white and gray spots dotting their brown feathers. But things get really interesting when they turn their necks, revealing the set of false eyes on the backs of their heads that deceive prey and prevent attacks from mobs of birds. That's right, large groups of birds will go after the aptly named northern pygmy owl if they can. But when you're that small and that cute, it's important to have a backup plan. It may be small, but no one's going to mess with this beautiful owl species. Number 4. Burrowing Owl If you ask a child to draw a picture of an owl, then chances are they're going to draw one perched up high in a tree. But the burrowing owl is proof that not all owls have to live in trees. And as their name suggests, the burrowing owl makes its home in old ground squirrel or prairie dog burrows. No way is it doing the digging itself, though. Once you move out of there, the burrowing owl is claiming squatter's rights. And because the burrowing owl makes its home underground, it's one step closer than its flying friends to its prey. While they can still take to the wing, these owls prefer to sprint across the ground to capture small rodents. And while these owls are excellent hunters, it's not uncommon for them to hoard their food in the burrows and prepare for when times may get a little lean. But they're also very adaptable, so when there may be just a shortage of vermin in the area, they'll gladly eat lizards and insects, or just stock the pantry with their kill for another day. The one thing that makes this beautiful owl really cool is that it will spread other animals' droppings near the entrance of their burrows, luring in beetles. And when those pesky beetles get too close, the burrowing owl goes in for the kill. Think of it like a food delivery for the animal kingdom. The burrowing owls will even adorn the entrances of their burrows with leaves and acorns and such to let other animals know that someone already lives there. Number 3. Boreal Owl The boreal owl is an illustrious owl that prefers to move about in the shadows, and so this bird is rarely seen in the wild. If you do manage to catch a glimpse of this beautiful owl, then chances are you've already been caught in the clutches of its long, sharp talons. The boreal owl can be characterized, though, by its small size, gray and brown coloration, and spotted forehead, and a song that sounds more like a whistle than it does your stereotypical hoot. The boreal owl likes to hide out for most of the year, and it isn't until the winter months that large numbers move south to hunt for prey that they really put themselves on full display. During this time, they can pop up in all sorts of places, and many gardeners have noticed them clearing their groves of those pesky rodents. The boreal owl is usually going to roost in forests within the tree cavities of spruce, fir, aspen, and poplar in North America, Alaska, and Europe. Number 2. Striped Owl The striped owl is marked by its beautiful, well, stripes. This species also sports its distinctive ear tufts with black, white, and cinnamon-colored streaks, and a white face rimmed with black and streaked underparts. These owls are fairly large and prefer to live in the savannas and open areas with scatterings of trees and brush. They'll even settle for cane fields and plantations. The striped owl will pick a place to roost in the denser foliage or even on the ground, but they always hunt from a perch. The striped owl is so common, actually, that you can even find them scanning for prey from a utility wire. The striped owl is relatively non-migratory and can only be found in Central and South America, but still have an incredible range that includes the marshlands, savannas, and woodlands. 
Number one, spotted wood owl. The spotted wood owl is a large owl with a very distinct orange face and large deep black eyes. The adults are brown with a beautiful thin bearing on their underparts, but the young ones are even cuter with their white feathers and barring all around, and you can find them all throughout Southeast Asia in places like Malaysia and Cambodia. This is another true owl and thrives in open forests and woodland habitats as long as there are bodies of water nearby. This owl is totally earless and it uses its eyes to watch closely for small rodents moving in the grass as it sits in waiting atop its perch. Their striped coloration helps them immensely to hide in the shaded tree canopies, not just from their prey, but from any would-be predators as well. But it's the spotted wood owl's endearing orange face that gives it the top spot on this list. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.